Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and uh, I've got something special. The other day I was shopping and I got myself one of these. Yes, it's the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G, and it's as rare as hen's teeth. The AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G is one of AMD's latest Ryzen processors in the 4000 series and comes with 8 cores and 16 threads. It operates on a base frequency of 3.6GHz with a max boost speed of 4.4GHz. It also comes with 4GB of L2 cache as well as 8GB of L3 cache. This particular chip is AMD's Renoir core and is based on the 7nm FinFET process but only supports PCI3. And of course comes built in with Radeon graphics featuring 8 cores and operates on a frequency of 2100 MHz. It'll be interesting to see how this chip will perform against the previous generation, the 3400G, as well as our 3700X in our test rig. So let's not waste any time and uh, put this into our test rig, build up a test system and uh, we'll see you in a bit. If you're lucky enough to get hold of the uh, Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G for under $250, then this CPU is a real gem. It performs beautifully and easily outperforms all the other APUs that we've tested in the past. This is all thanks to its uh, 8 core and 16 threads, along with the uh, 4MB of L2 catch and 8MB of L3 catch, operating on a base frequency of 3.6GHz with a max boost speed of 4.4GHz. It's basically a Ryzen 7 3700X with a small L3 catch, but now it comes with a built-in Radeon graphics that has a massive 8 GPU cores. Right now, it's one of the most powerful APUs you can get on the market. What I like about building systems with APUs is that the onboard Radeon graphics should be more than enough to get you going. It'll handle most daily tasks such as web browsing, watching YouTube, running your office applications, and possibly the uh, occasional gaming with your standard settings. And of course, if the onboard graphics isn't enough, there's always the option to upgrade to a better discrete graphics card. During our benchmarks, it produced an impressive score of 5,649 on PC Mark 10, with a Cinebench score of uh, 2019. For Pass Mark 9, we got a very good score of 5,396, while Geekbench 5 scores for single and multi core, we got a score of 1,211 and uh, 8,224, respectively. All in all, the Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G is quite a performer, to say the least. There are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. First, the processor doesn't support PCI4, only PCI3, and the chip is CPU locked, which means it's not suitable for overclocking. When you buy this chip, you buy for its native performance and the onboard Radeon graphics. Unfortunately, you won't be able to buy the CPU on retail. It's only available on OEM for system builders. However, you might be able to find it on eBay with prices ranging from about $250 to $350. So in conclusion, the Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G is a real gem of a processor. That's if you can find it. It performs just as good as a Ryzen 7 3700X with 8 cores and 16 threads and runs at the same speed. But you also get the added bonus of the onboard Radeon graphics. It may not be suitable for everyone, but for home theatre enthusiasts and people like myself who love building mini ITX systems, this APU processor is one of the best you can get for sure. You can check out the full review on our website at amd3d.com. And there you have it guys, that was a quick look at the super rare AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G with built-in Radeon graphics. It offers decent performance, but at a price which is quite high. 
So if you're able to get it for under $250, I suggest you look into it because right now it is one of the most powerful APU with built-in Radeon graphics you can get on the market. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget, you can actually buy all the items in this video via the uh, links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for Funkit.com.